Hey guys, it's Adonai and the champion I want to talk about today is Jarvan the Fourth, King of Demacia or Prince or whatever. So Jarvan is pretty much a top lane bruiser, he's one of the safest buying picks you can pick and also one of the strongest champions you can play in the top lane because he's pretty much a jack of all trades, he can engage, he has some carry potential, he has damage and he's a tank as well so all of those things work well in his favor. In the early game with that champion you pretty much want to just abuse your passive and try to play as aggressive as you can because he's pretty strong in the early game against most of the matchups. His passive is a really strong coupled up with Grasp of the Undying which makes you have your first auto attack as a really strong poke tool. You can either choose to get W level 1 or Q, both are just as good. W is more of a safe approach if you want to take trades and be as healthy as you can because if you walk up to someone and you use your auto attack with Grasp of the Undying and your passive proc if you put your shield up just as you do that you'll most likely win the trade by like 100 HP or more so that's always one way to play it you can also just start with Q and try to get pokes on him and push the lane early game so that will help you get level 2 faster so both approaches are just as good in my opinion in the mid game what you would want to do with Jarvan is try to push out silence and group towards your team and try to use the fact that you have a really good gap close and your ultimate if someone is immobile if they have no flash they're pretty much stuck in that pit for like 3 seconds and they can't move and your team can make plays off of your roams and ultimates even if he has flash up it's also good to just roam and use your ultimate and just get the flash up because once you repeat that roam it's really good for you because with those five minutes out you have a pretty big window to just try to repeat the roam and get the ultimate off of on the same target in the late game what you want to do is try to be the main engager for your team you can either look for flank or just group with your team what you would want to do is just try to signal out a, a person that has no flash or doesn't have good mobility and try to use your ultimate on them and that's the main way to force team fights so as a core for Jarvan, you would want to start with Corrupting Potion and start building towards a Tiamat. After the Tiamat, you would want to go into a Phage Black Cleaver Rush. From this point on, you have two options. You're either getting pretty strong, so you can start building a Titanic Hydra, so that can further spike your damage and make you more of a threat on the sideline and also on roams. Or if the team needs someone to tank or you're just not having that big of an impact, you can go into Gargoyle Stone Plate, so that can make you tanky and waste a lot of time for the enemy team effectively making you a tank. After this you wanna keep going with either Locket, GA or even Sterox Gage, all of these options are pretty good. If you choose to go Locket though, make sure to pair it up with Gargoyle Stone Plate active because if you manage to get the Gargoyle Stone Plate off and then you use your Locket, pretty much everyone on your team will have around the, at least 1000 damage shield or up to 2000 damage shield and I feel like that's pretty strong for peeling off on your carries. But yeah, completing your build should look something like Titanic Hydra, Black Cleaver, either Ninja Tabby or Mercury Threads, a GA, Gargoyles, Stoneplate and either yeah, Sterax or Locket of the Iron Solari. Jarman usually has an easy time against most melee matchups in the laning phase because his base damages are pretty strong, like his passive is one of the strongest in the game, especially for trading. So yeah, in the early game you just want to harass the melee matchups by just auto ding them when your passive is off cooldown. Against these matchups is a bit more difficult, I think you should start W and just try to farm. I think you cannot contest the wave as much, I think you just need to play farm until you get some tanky items and some levels. I think most of the ranged matchups you will be fine to win them by like level 5, 6, 7 after you get your first base. Your, pretty much your bread and butter combo on Jarvan would be land your EQ and then you do auto and then you would do Titanic Hydra to reset your auto or Tiamat in the case you don't have it and then you would just use your ultimate if they don't have a dash and that would pretty much is your highest damage combo. Most of the time if the jungler is ganking your lane and say you're playing against a difficult matchup that you don't have enough damage to kill you shouldn't use EQ to gap close and then ulti because most of the time you just won't have enough damage to kill him so it's up to you to judge the situation but most of the time gap closing with EQ to just to use your ulti is kind of suboptimal because that leaves you pretty much with a lot of time where you just don't have any damage if you really need the damage to kill him I would suggest just flashing and ulting instead and then use your EQ to provide more damage I think Jarvan is a pretty strong champion, as I said in the beginning, he's pretty much a jack of all trades, he's an initiator, he's a carry, he's a tank, he can do all of these roles pretty well, and I really enjoy playing him. Also, I'm a coach at Gamer Sensei, so if any of you want to book a lesson, head on to GamerSensei.com and I'll be up for scheduling.